What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're taking a closer look at the Boulder Wallet from Arc Company. This one was sent to me by a viewer by the name of Chelsea, so huge shout out to Chelsea, of course, for sending this one over. In fact, if you haven't checked out that video, she actually sent me a box full of EDC gear, a lot of really cool stuff, and this was only one of the items, so definitely worth checking that out if you haven't already. Now, if you're not familiar with Arc Company, they make handmade small batch goods here in the United States, and I believe their entire lineup is made out of Cordura, just like this wallet. The Boulder Wallet's available in a myriad of colors, also available in an XL version. So if this one's just slightly small for you, the XL is just a scaled up version, same exact configuration. Still not huge. I'd say the XL is still pretty minimalist and compact, would make an excellent front pocket carry as well. Standard size is $46 and on the surface has a very simple looking design, but as is often the case with those simple designs, they often are the most elegant solution and that definitely seems like the case here. You're able to carry your gear with an extremely small footprint. Exterior dimensions are about two and three quarters inches wide by about four and a half inches tall. And so pretty small footprint, even smaller than like the Zip Pouch Pro, which is one of my favorite wallet pocket organizer combos. And so this one has the pocket organization aspect on the front with the wallet on the interior and the back of the pouch. So we'll start with the front. We have two organizer slots. The left one is good for your like mini pen, mini pry bar, smaller gear. It's an inch wide by about three inches tall. The right one is slightly larger. It's a little bit over an inch and a quarter inches wide and three inches tall as well. So you can fit some smaller knives in there. If you're looking to get into a little bit larger class of knives, the XL may be a better option because it is pretty snug. The one I have in there fits in very nicely though. So we'll take a quick look at that gear. On the left, I mentioned many pens and I went with the Traveler's Company brass pen. This is a made in Japan pen, very similar to a pocket pen, just a lot more stylized. And so this actually pulls out, goes back into the handle to convert into a full size pen and is pretty affordable. You can grab these on Amazon. I'll make sure to link to both the gear and the pouch down in the description if you're thinking about picking these ones up. But really cool pen, love the brass aspect and just the overall look of that one. On the right slot, I have my trusty Victorinox Cadet, my favorite Victorinox of all time. Recently retired it from my key ring, but has been making its, its way into my pocket from time to time. Before I slot that back in here, I did want to show this is where our tag is. So the branding is pretty minimal. In fact, with any larger item in this slot, it's probably going to end up blocking that tag and you won't really see any of the branding, just like with my carry, just kind of barely shows behind that. So flipping over to the back side, we have a card slot. This one's made to accommodate two cards. It technically can fit a third card. It starts to get pretty snug. So if you want easy, quick access to it, two cards is probably what's recommendable. That's what I have in here now. This is your quick access slot. So the cards that you're using most often, like I probably wouldn't put my ID in here because I rarely ever need to pull my ID out of the wallet. And so there is an interior section for both cards and cash, secured closed with these buttons and closures on the top and bottom of the wallet. Really nice that it buttons closed because otherwise I think a lot of the times this would end up opening up in your pocket and having a much larger footprint than it actually does. So we can unbutton those really easily. One thing that's nice, that pocket organization aspect, all on the front flap, and so it doesn't affect how snug your cards or cash are on the interior because it's on a completely separate flap from all of the rest of the wallet aspect of this wallet. And so up front, we have this cash slot. So this fits tri-folded bills. They say about three. I'm able to fit about five in there, but I don't have the max number of cards in the back slot. So that may be a reason for it. This is about an inch and two thirds wide. And so just the perfect size for tri-folded cash. You can put some other small gear in there as well. I experimented with the uh, Army Tech Zippy, but it did make the overall wallet a little bit bulkier. So have just been sticking with cash. I also ended up putting a key in there from time to time. And that works really well if you only need to carry one key. So for my PO box key seems to work well in that slot. Now on the back, we have a card slot. This one can carry a little bit more. It's a little bit wider, has a little more real estate. And so they say up to four cards. Again, you can probably stuff just a little bit more. The more you put in there, the snugger it gets. So and eventually it's going to stretch out. So I stuck to two because I never carry more than four cards. Usually I carry three every once in a while. If I know I'm going to need an extra card, I'll throw it in there and have a fourth. And so that's what I stuck 
with with this loadout but that's everything i have in here like i said simple but elegant solution really small footprint this is probably the smallest that can double as a wallet that's pretty easy and convenient to get the cards out while also still carrying a bit of gear and i just love this really minimalist carry with my victorinox and my pen in here would love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments below though as usual if you enjoyed the video consider liking commenting subscribing or joining the channel as a member all help the channel out a ton and i hope you have a great one take care